Richard, and this is Dizzy from the Dead Daisies, and you're watching Rockin' Live. Is it going well? Yes, it is going well. <laughs> um, I love coming to Europe, especially in the summertime. It's just my, my, my first memories of being with Guns N' Roses, we came to Europe and we're playing festivals and everything, and it's just it's, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to be able to, it helps you, you know, realize that rock and roll is, is still the great international sort of thing that brings us together, you know? It's, it's one of them. And um, so I, I always love coming here. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Sometimes it doesn't smell that great, though. But you know what? That's 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 life. At festivals, yeah, that's life, man. Whoa! Let's take off. Let's go get lost. All the way down to Mexico. Well, we have a new singer, John Karabi, um, that was with. He was with. Motley Crue and Scream and Union Union Rat uh, He's Hookers a, and Blow Hookers and Blow because he's a the band yeah. He's a great singer and we're really fortunate to have him and uh, he did a great job on this album um, Then we have Tommy Clefettis is playing drums with us on this tour um, Our normal drummer that we've been using is Brian Tishy uh, but Tommy he couldn't do this None of us are normal, by the way. Just <laughs> but um, yeah. he couldn't do this tour, so we used Tom. Tommy was somebody that Dizzy had played with before, and Marcos played with him, and and John. And I'm a big fan of his, so it was great that he was able to come. He's a fantastic drummer. It's a place that leaves no regrets. Cross the border down to Mexico. Literally, uh, locked ourselves in a room and wrote and recorded in a studio mm -hmm. and, and wrote and recorded what we hadn't done in Kibo, which was two songs. We did the rest in five weeks. Everyone brought in different ideas that we've been sitting around. Uh, and we just all sat together and wrote the songs, worked everything out, and, and then started recording. recording them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, um, every day for five weeks. <laughs> It is. It's unique in that it's very. We're very true to our roots with this band. Where it's very. It's the type of music that we grew up listening to, and that first inspired us to pick up our instruments. And that's what the type of thing that we're trying to capture with this band. So it's it's. Uh, it's unapologetically classic sounding. Or as I like to say, it's, it's, it's retro. intentional it just has to sort of happen that way our manager came up with the title and told us that's the title of the album and um, Mexico was just uh, had nothing to do with that and it just happened that Cuba when we we did we did dates in Cuba and we went down there and recorded and played with some Cuban musicians and did some shows there and that was really the sort of the catalyst for starting the recording project and it inspired us in a lot of ways to because it, there was an energy in Cuba and a passion for the music that we haven't seen in a while you know with yeah, the audiences it, just, it and, carried over to the whole writing recording process I mean we had planned on making a record but that's just you know we 
we, and we knew when we were there we wanted to to record something to capture something so just kind of carried over um, but the uh, yeah the Mexico and and revolution on it's not really a direct tie-in is there no, no. Mission bells, wishing well, prison cell, anywhere you want to go. I'm just going to go with, with get up and get ready because I have an organ solo on it. So. That's probably my favorite song on the record, too. Yeah. Yeah. But I also like uh, With You and I. With You and I, is, it's, I think lyrically it's, it's, it's got a cool message, and that's important. It's important for everybody. Everything starts with you and I if we want to make a change. It's, it's you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's as simple as that, you know. It's, it's, a uh, it starts within ourselves. Go watch the step, cause you might lose your head. Get left for dead, and nobody would ever know. We gonna ride to Mexico. Yeah, I think we're all we're always working on new stuff. Um, we haven't been doing anything together as a band because we've just gone through that whole process and we need to sort of regroup, yeah. you know, and re... And focus so, on and translating these songs to live now, too. Right. It's, it's, a, it's a process, but... Um, let's jam tonight. Let's yes, we should. Let's have a jam session tonight. And we'll on stage. Yeah, on stage. <laughs> we'll start a new life. It just sort of works out that way. You find time to to do, Dizzy has his own album that's just coming out, or that he's just finished up, and you, you just sort of you work on things over time, and then they sort of find their place and. Yeah, it it just works out, or it doesn't. It, In Brian's doesn't, case, yeah. it didn't work out because he's not here. He wasn't available to do the album either, which you know he he wish wishes that he we all wish he could have done it, um, but it didn't work out. He had other commitments. We had to do it in that time period because it was the time that we were all available, and unfortunately, he wasn't. Yeah. Um, but in the future, hopefully, we. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I started my, my records. It's I just finished mixing it, but I started it seven years ago, and I did. I never planned on it taking that long. It's just something that you know, because it was my own personal thing. I had to put it on the back burner, you know. Um, but but now it's done. So it's uh, yeah. It it in the end, it usually does work out. Yeah. And it, that record only took him half the time it took to do uh, our other bands out. So. But uh, they're both great. Summer, I think we're trying to do some dates in the U.S. with Whitesnake, and then we have tour in Australia in September, October with KISS in, the, in Kiss Aust Cruise. Australia, Kiss New Cruise. Zealand, then we do the KISS Cruise, and then we go back to Europe, we come back to Europe with Whitesnake in October, November, and then we do some shows in the UK and in Paris. And I, there's talk, I think we're going to do a show in, in Paris. I in November, Paris. yeah. And then I think we're going to Israel, I heard, to do another show. And that's, yeah, that takes us to the end of the year. Come see us in November and check out our new album, Revolution, and, which and just came out a couple weeks ago. And thank you for supporting everything we've done over the years. We really appreciate it. We love coming to France. And thanks for keeping rock and roll alive here and in the rest of the world. Thank you. Love you guys. Hey.